Hey, it's Paul Check. Welcome back to my video blog. I've had a lot of you over the last several months and years <laughs> write in to me asking me to talk about tips for improving grip strength. For those of you that are in the deadlift, the dividing line between the men and the boys is three plates a side or 315 pounds. And the reason is, is because you can't typically get past three plates a side in the deadlift unless you do some type of grip training. That's kind of the general theme. Of course, there are exceptions every now and then you get someone who has a naturally strong grip. Now there's a lot of ways to condition the grip. I'm just gonna show you one of my favorite ones here today. It's called the farmer's carry. I grew up on a farm, so I know all about the farmer's carry. And we don't necessarily use kettlebells or dumbbells on the farm. We use tools, wheelbarrows, rocks, and bales of hay, and sheep, and goats, and things like that. So the farmer's carry is just picking up like a dumbbell, a pair of dumbbells, or a pair of kettlebells, or you can do it one arm at a time, which will put a lot of frontal plane load on you side to side. But you need to be careful you don't overload your quadratus lumborum and oblique muscles until you develop that strength. But you just pick the weight up, hold good upright posture, don't slouch, don't let your shoulders drop forward. Keep that weight going right through your spine, right to the feet, so you can feel the weight in your feet. Then you simply carry the weight. And you just keep on going. You should see Mike Salemi, he can carry these things probably quarter of a mile and back at this weight, because he's a stud. Okay, so as you start getting fatigued, be careful you don't start slouching and doing all sorts of things, because you can end up hurting yourself quite bad. So that's the farmer's carry. Now, if you're using, if you're wanting to develop grip strength for an anaerobic activity, like say you're gonna do, you're wanting to improve your one to four rep max in the deadlift, then when you do the farmer's carry, which I'm about to show you, you need to use a weight and you'll have to warm up so you don't hurt yourself, that you can only carry for about eight to 12 seconds. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is drop that weight if you want to extend the strengthening effect and get a weight that's maybe five to 10 pounds lighter and carry it for as long as you can, drop it, carry it for as long as you can, drop it, and that would be a drop set. And you can go until you cannot open your fingers anymore and give yourself you know, enough rest before you try it again that you can improve on your last performance by at least one to 3%. So the Now, if you're in sports like rock climbing or you want to do long, extend your chin ups for as long as you can, using the drop set method is very important. If your only goal is to improve your deadlift, for example, where you have to lift a heavy weight, then you don't have to go much longer than about 12 seconds because then you start going into the lactate system and you may or may not get that much carryover out of it. I wouldn't go any more than about 16 seconds just for high intensity deadlifting. So then you would carry a weight that you can only carry for about eight to 12 seconds, take a rest, and as soon as you can pick it up and walk with it and get another eight to 12 seconds, go. 
I could give you specific times, but it's going to range depending on the proportion of fast and slow twitch fibers of each of you, your level of conditioning, and many other factors. It's a very simple exercise, very good grip conditioning. Give it a go. Have lots of fun with the farmer's carry. There's lots more great exercise and holistic health education for you at www.chekinstitute. Check it out. Great online courses, DVDs, books, manuals, you name it. I got it. Come get it. Make yourself healthy, happy, whole, and strong. I'll see you next time.